word up people who like legends of runeterra my name is seth holocron i'm from the dongers of runeterra and i run this youtube video channel and i like making new decks and thank god i mean there are people who think that the 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 people who make this game are ruining it um by putting in patches that don't need to be and i kind of disagree with that i'm really enjoying the kda patch and a lot of people aren't a lot of people think that the spells are far too uh, oppressive and that i've got one answer to that is if you think they're oppressive play them yourself and then let other people think that they're oppressive and then you're in trouble because you know that's what happens when you play games and they try and constantly try and bump it up and in all games we get power creep uh, any card game you've ever played if you've ever played like magic or um well pretty much any card game that's uh pretty good like keyforge star wars destiny um hearthstone all that sort of stuff power creep always always comes up and and then it drifts back down again and then a new meta arrives and then it drifts away and the good thing about this game is i think they kind of keep it going for a wee while and the kda patch based on the band has produced some fantastic spells and i've just got a new one so because i've just got a new one that means i'm gonna have to build a deck with it and then i'm gonna have to like show you guys it because that's what i do i deck build so this is my deck and this is pretty much the discard aggro deck that everybody knows and loves with a few twists so i guarantee you've got this deck what i guarantee you may not have is this card uh, and that is give it all um so, is it any good? Well, let's see. Cost say. You have to get it through doing the KDA event. Is it good? Well, yes, it can be as long as you've got a big unit to use it with. And I thought, okay, there are ways and means of getting a big unit out that may not look as, as big as it is. And that is going to be crowd favourite. I want to play him as the sixth card. So let me show you Crowd Favourite. Crowd Favourite gets 1-1 one, one for every other ally you have. So you can add 5-5 five, five to this guy. And then he becomes a 7-6. With Overwhelm. Okay. A 7-6 with Overwhelm. And then we're going to go through what we've got here. Oh, Daring Poros, they are elusive. Precious Pets are fearsome. Elusive. Not much here. Oh, um, give everything battling allies plus one this round. Okay, that's good. Oh, look, Challenger. That's kind of good. Quick Attack, that's kind of good as well. Jinx, Quick Attack. Can you imagine having one of each of those? And then read Give It All. So you raise all your allies' power and health to the highest power or health among the allies and grant all of them every allied keyword that they have. Holy shit. This is good. Does it go off? Enough. Yeah, I'm having about a 50% strike rate with it. Could be a meme deck, to be fair. But I mean, this is essentially just discard aggro. Essentially. With absolutely no Draven's biggest fan nonsense. Um, we've put in a Precious Pet as well. But let, let's kind of just go through the deck and, and let you see what it is. So, uh, discard a card. Remember, this is discard aggro. We want to be getting rid of um, cards because uh, I'm actually running three champions. Um, so, I'm running one Teemo, two Draven, three Jinx. Nope, three driving, two jinx is what I'm wrong. Um, so it gives you a little bit of chip damage with Teemo. Also gives you the puff caps, all that sort of stuff. But Poro Cannon gives you a 1-1 one, one daring Poro in hand, which looks like that, and it's elusive, and it's lovely. So Jury Rig, you get a 1-1 one, one Scrap Scuttler. Again, when cast or discarded, really kind of good when teamed up with the Urchin, because that's kind of nice. Now, we're not running Tribobulator, and we're not running the six cost, you know, deal three damage, 
to another Unity, this one here. We're not running Augmentive Experimenter. We have other cards that kind of fit the theme better. Uh, so that's great. Precious Pet, a 2-1 Fearsome, Brilliant Spider, with 18 Noxus cards, 22 from PNZ. Yep, that's a good one drop. So's the Poro, so's Jury Rig. We're running three of all of those. Rummage, when you're kind of hammered and you're trying to pull something a little bit better. Discard two to draw two. Brilliant. If you've got Jinx on the board, you've only got two cards left, then she automatically levels. That's pretty much why they were running two of. And we are still on the one drop. So, I mean, our mana curve, really, really low. Really, really low. You know, we go, I think it's up to uh, four. Yeah, four. And then the three give it all. Um, which, which has been fun. To be fair, uh, and I've only got the seven six ones, but we we have had it uh, at her level at five fours quite often. So five fours with a whole load of additional keywords is kind of good, <laughs> um, especially if they're all elusive and then you just smash everything. So that kind of takes my love of elusives to a whole new level. So um, I will give you a hint: if you get this. And you can play Poro Cannon first and then drop the one down, ensuring that you've got enough eight mana to start. Every single unit across the board will be elusive and you can just go straight through and smash for as big as you can. Which, uh, even if you only have Draven, a couple of other things, and everything is 3-3, three, three, yeah, if, if you've got five wide, that's 15 damage. They, they ain't getting back. They, they're just not getting that back. Um, so yeah, Timo, a one of simply because of the poison puff caps, which is all good, and Xanite Urchin, a three of because we're going to be wanting to get rid of uh, Jury Rig and all that sort of stuff to kind of get things up. But we also have uh, Flame Chompers, which we can discard, and that gets a free two drop down. Yes, it's uh, a rubbish stat, but it's one of the best blockers in the game. So take their big unit away, even you know when you're in the mid game, take that away, let it die. It's probably cost you nothing if you've discarded it. And the two mana might have got you a, a, a precious pet and a, and a poro, which is fine. Yeah, absolutely fine. Arena Battlecaster, every single time you attack, give plus one power. That sounds great for two. And there's nothing better than paying two for a spider to get a half spider again. So a 2-2 two, two and a 1-1, one, one, they all rush out and kill things. Draven, we're running three of. I just love the guy. He's, he's just fantastic. It's a great deck. And I highly enjoy playing this deck. I've always enjoyed playing this deck, and I think Give It All bumps it up another touch. So I'd say this is a tier one plus, but not S tier. But it's definitely a tier one deck. There's no doubt about it. This is essentially the discard aggro deck with a few changes. As I say, Precious Pet's now in here. Give It All is now in here as well. Um, so we've got loads of little things to aggro and, and piss off people completely in the early doors. Um but we're not running things to like grant me plus two. We don't need that because we're running at three visions, which is another plus one, which on top of the uh, arena battle caster is now plus two. And if you discard that because of something else, uh, you're doing brilliant. So it is kind of nice to maybe get excited, deal three to the uh, Nexus, get plus two when you're attacking with an arena battle caster. Now everything's coming out at fives. Brilliant. It's just brilliant. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we like this. We, we like this a lot. But yeah, there is a combo. Most of my decks have a little combo piece to it, and that is this card. So as I showed you earlier, the more people you have down before you drop this is perfect. Imagine dropping this down and then already having give it all in hand. Yeah, probably the next time that you attack, everything is just, you just keep crowd favorite leveled. Keep them as big as you can. Even if he's only a, a, a seven five or a seven four, you know he's he's going to be. Even if he's a six something, he's he's they're, he's just really good. And the fact that he grants everything else overwhelm when you put give it all down, great, especially great if you've got either Draven or Jinx. These are fantastic to kind of go. Oh hello, that's nice. Uh, and if you've leveled Jinx, you know, she's a 5-4. Now, now everything's got Quick Attack and uh, also got um, Overwhelm when you put down uh, the crowd favourite. Uh, you can also, if you have a, a Flame Chomper down, you can just pull their entire thing across. And if it's Overwhelm, then you're just killing all their units, especially if you've got 
quick attack as well. So you're completely killing their side of the board while doing innumerable damage uh, across. And don't worry about it if you've only got 3-3. Three, three. Because at quick attack, you know, if you don't want to pull them in, even if you have Challenger, and you've 14 to do, and you have 15, just go over the top of them and win the game. That's why Give It All is such a damn good card. I love it. It's, this is, I mean, I, I, there's so much of me wants to say this is a meme deck, but most of the KDA spell decks are meme decks, and they truly are. I really want to kind of do one of these with a landmark deck, which is probably something I'm going to have to sit down and and, and, and figure out what is the best one to do it with. And to be honest, I quite like the idea of doing it with the landmark that brings out a level champion. So if you get a level champion, then everything is that guy's stats. So imagine getting a, a Trindlemere or uh, some something enormous, right? Some something absolutely huge. Um, we're not going to get any in here, but you know, a, a level that is ten five. I mean that that's that's just horrible. You know, that's a six six. You know, you, you can do quite a lot with that. So I think you, you can do that. I, I don't think it's worth doing it with a landmark that gives you the two at 10-10 because, you know, if you put the right champions in, that wins you the game anyway. But the the Abyss and Give It All, yeah, I, I, I think you could probably run something with no champions. Three Give It Alls, three uh, of that uh, landmark. So if I just come out of here... And type in landmark, and then we're gonna to have to see where we are because I'm pretty sure um, the Howling Abyss is Freljord, so it's gonna be a Freljord deck. So, you know, that's not bad. You can have Trundle in it, maybe. That's that's quite good. Um, I mean, it's Trundle's kind of all kind of good, and then go for something like Noxus. And, and just kind of take things out. You, all your freeze things will be able to like block it off for you. And then get a, a huge big thing. Drop, give it all onto it. And whatever things that you've got, bang, off, off you go. So that is uh, probably one of my next decks that I will build. So discard I grow with a twist. Uh, this is a discard, give it all. And I really think it's quite interesting indeed. And the fact that you guys have probably got most of these cards anyway... Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Timo's a li nice little addition. I've uh, stolen that idea from Swim, and it works. So why the hell would I not use it? Um, I think this is good. I think this is really fun. And if you're getting a wee bit bored of the KDA meta, well, embrace it. You know, it's not it's not that bad. I mean, we're 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 not talking like when Red literally destroyed everything in Magic, or droids in every single deck in in destiny you know we're, we're talking you know fun and that's what games are meant to be they're meant to be fun and if you're not having fun take a break for a couple of days come back the quests are all still there you don't want to play it take a break for a little while nothing wrong with that either but personally speaking i'm loving the kda thing let's bring it all on my name is seth holocron the deck code for this and then invite to our Discord and all our social medias is in the pinned comments. As always, thank you very much for watching and until the next one, dongers out.